everybody, I'm Alex, and I'm one of the science kids. Today we're going to be talking about... Hello everybody, I'm Alex, and I'm one of the science kids. Today we're going to be talking... Hello everybody, I'm... The temporal lobe is located... Is it here? Wait, no. I think it's... Or is it here? Or somewhere here and... Like... Uh -huh. Six and a half hours later. Nothing's working. I can't find my temporal lobe. I can do surgery on you and find your temporal lobe. I'm a certified doctor. No, no, get out. Okay. Oh, I know. There's this thing that everyone's using these days called Google. -A. Apparently, you can find anything you want. Okay, there. The temporal lobe is located there. Happy now? The temporal lobe is responsible for many things. Some of these include auditory processing, gaining new memories, storing visual memories, and even language recognition. So without the temporal lobe, you wouldn't have the ability to recognize language, which means I would just sound like this. It also means that without the temporal lobe, you wouldn't have any short-term memory. In fact, there is a guy that has endured such temporal lobe damage that he can't remember anything over a maximum of just 30 seconds. Here's a clip of him. As far as I'm concerned, the doctors have been totally incompetent. I've never seen a doctor the whole time. <laughs> oh, look, it's comfortable. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. His name is Clive Wearing. Clive Wearing has permanently lost short-term memory. Now you might be thinking, oh, that last clip was nice, he was just being very nice. But it turns out that she was there 20 seconds ago, and he had forgotten that she was there the whole time. It's actually kind of sad, but also very interesting. Well, we hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for our next few videos. Don't forget to check out our social media pages and our website in the description. And as always, science is everywhere, and in everything. Bye!